So, time to roll again. Um, it's meant to drive me home. I want to see, I put it in drive, legs off. Okay, yeah. So I want it to start everything from park. Even when it's um, packed in, you know, what are the chances? Here is another um, Quicksilver Model Y. <laughs> I need to show my wife this. One of the reasons why we got this color is because, um, you know, it's unique. It's not common, <laughs> but then it's crazy. The car parked right next to me. So it would have been nice to see the owner. Anyway, um, another 16 minute drive, um, 12 kilometers. I'm paying attention. Come on. <laughs> I talk to this thing as if it's a human I'm talking to but it's doing what humans do so um, I might as well treat it like one um, so right now we are 85% it says we should get home at 82% um, I'm not so sure about that um, I think it will be more, more of, um, about 81, 80, 80% so yeah let's see how it does um Enjoy the drive. Another Tesla. I think um, Calgary is beginning to get more and more Teslas compared to the. Oof! Oof! Saw something there, I think tried to dodge it, and then, you know, the road was a little bit slippery. But it was okay. There's a speed camera ahead, that's what that sign says. So, don't get me a ticket, Tesla, FSD. Don't get me a ticket, please. Quick question, and I would like to hear your opinion. So, in previous videos, or in some videos, I play music, mostly Afrobeats. Do you guys prefer those? or uh, to this one that um, you know just um, you know every once in a while I speak and then um, aside that is just um, driving videos the sound of the car driving which do you prefer I would like to know in the comment section I've got no preference by the way although maybe it would be nice to listen to some music but yeah I don't have a preference sometimes I just want to enjoy the drive silently especially when I'm, you know, when I'm using full self-driving. So it doesn't matter to me, but I would like to know what you guys, um, what you guys prefer. except in very thick snow. If you're driving a Tesla, you really do not need to wipe off um, snow from your car. Just um, defrost it and all you need to drive, you know, the windshield, the rear, um, the side would warm up and you know, you'll be good to go. Except of course, if the snow is, you know, so much, I and mean, of course, if you have like so much um, snow packed up, um, piled up on, on the car, it's a safety hazard for all that too. So you don't want to keep driving that. You want to, sh you want, you want, you want, you want to shave that off. But aside that, and another thing I'm amazed that is how quick it does it. How quick it does it. I, when I was going to come into the car, it was like minus, um, minus 13 or thereabouts inside. And then within like a, like two minutes or thereabout, I got a message, your cabin is at its desired temperature. So really good, really good.
this light is so so long it takes so long i feel like i've spent two minutes or five minutes here already <laughs> just joking but yeah it takes so long it's going to have to go right much later so That was rough, really rough. There goes another one, another Tesla. Yeah, finally it acts like it should. So in the previous video, you remember I was complaining the car was driving behind a slow moving vehicle this time around pulled out from behind it and then accelerated like that's how it should be i understand if the car is going and you know at the correct speed limit that's fine but 
way below it, there is no point. You remember when I said it's going to be closer to 81%? Right now it's 81 already. It's showing 81% already. So, But it's still not bad. For a 16-minute drive, So another improvement that I've noticed in version 13, this FSD 13 is, so in previous um, iterations, previous versions, I find it always hogs the edge of the road when there is snow. You know, this time around, it's still kind of hogging it. It's still not sure. Mm. Um. Okay. It is still hogging it. Like right now, I'm literally driving on i'm at the edge of the road but i'm gonna leave it i'm gonna let it do its thing i hope a car doesn't come upon us and try to squeeze in the middle but i'm just gonna watch it yeah it's literally hugging the edge of the road i know whoever is watching will be like this this tesla guys don't know how to drive so you see it's gonna correct yeah, you see, it had to correct a little bit. It's still hugging the edge of the road, but then it's better. It is better than, yeah. So right now, it's just driving in the middle of the road, basically. It's just driving in the middle of the road. I know the, wherever it is will be looking at me like, what's wrong with this guy, you know? Yeah. So, Elon Musk comments, Tesla is still not ready for the snow. It is still not ready for the snow. I, like, I think my reviews are as honest as they can be. That guy was like, <laughs> maybe he was pissed. He just came out from behind me, went past me and then came right in front. Yeah, could not handle it anymore. So yeah, like I was saying, Elon, I think um, like this technology is great, it's good, but we're still not there at full self-driving yet. We're still not there. It's, it's great, I can't even lie, but as Charlie for, those of us in Canada, and I'm, I'm saying Canada, I'm not talking about Vancouver. Vancouver, like my experience there is smooth, no issues, because come on, there's at least no in Vancouver. But out here in Calgary, nah, nah. Okay, now it, it improved it back to 82%. Even though I'm already, my battery is already at 81%. Something is wrong. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can see it. <laughs> well, since I'm going to get, okay, now he yeah, adjusted it. So I was going to get my decision at 82%, and the battery is already at 81%.
403 kilometers. Not bad. Don't go into the middle of the road. Like, what's it doing? Like, what is it doing? <laughs> nah. Nah, not, not, not good for the snow. Not good for the snow. FS is not good for the snow. I think this is remarkably better or markedly better than the version 12. But it is still not good for the snow. No, no. When the, the, when the lane markings, the lines are not clear. Yeah, full self-driving struggles. Oh, oh, is he going to see it? Like, what are these guys doing? Like, they are going to cause an accident. Like, it's parked at this junction to make, to deliver packages. And you can't even see the vehicle coming. Another improvement, let me just quickly say this. So, anytime I drive into the streets, even when there was no snow, it drives really slow. But this time around, it's not. I think, um, so I've seen the improvements in version 13, version 13.2.1. Um, it's better, but it's not there yet. It's not there yet. If it can walk in the snow, then I think, um, Elon, you are alienating like so many chunk, a large chunk of people. And I'm surprised because um, the Nordic countries, Norway, you know, Sweden and the likes, you know, I'm going to take over because I'm, I'm going to go, go straight ahead. The Nordic countries, Norway and the likes, they are some of the, you know, highest adopters of um, EV technology. And it snows like crazy in those places. So... I would think you want to get this technology, you want to get this full self-driving up to that point where it can save those um, communities as well. So it's not just Canada, you know, you might say US is not as bad, but there's, there are also states in the US, Utah, Montana, uh, Minnesota, <laughs> you know, that deal with huge amount of snow. So this has to be to get to that point before I can confidently say, yeah, it is good enough. But aside that, as always, nice driving experience. I enjoyed it. And um, let me know your thoughts in the comment section. I'll see you guys on the next one. Cheers.